And now, for this week's State of Trade in Star Citizen. Fleet Week is well underway at Area 18. Servers have been hammered as an onslaught of players attempt to take advantage of their free fly event, as well as the plethora of rental ships on display. Today's offerings include the Anvil Carrick, a colossal exploration vessel that is currently second to the Caterpillar when it comes to trading. With 456 SCU of cargo space, players who are willing to risk trading during this time are encouraged to try one out for rental. The Cutlass Blue is also live for current owners, and will be available for free fly and purchase beginning May 30th. While not the bounty hunting ship many players expected it to be, the Blue is capable of quantum dampening, preventing a ship from making a jump. Combined with the missile loadout and weapon capability of a standard Cutlass, traders are advised to keep a lookout for these along trade routes, as they are an effective tool for pirates. As a reminder, May 30th through June 2nd is Drake Defense Con. Traders will be able to rent Caterpillars for free. Traders willing to ply routes during this time are encouraged to save the date. And now for market data. In the metals market, Agrisium skyrocketed to 2498 around Crusader. Sources around Art Corp held near to 2374, both far above the base price of 2250. Titanium experienced a surge as well, reaching 772 on Ariel and 764 on Lyria. Titanium at Trem Myers peaked at 799, far above the baseline of 710. Gold on Damar rose to 589, far above a base of 541. However, prices around Hurston and Artcorp have stayed close to base pricing. Traders are encouraged to source gold from Aberdeen or Lyria at this time. Tungsten has experienced another uptick in movement as prices around Crusader rose to 380 amid supply shortages. Prices around Artcorp experienced a small increase to 362. Traders interested in moving Tungsten are encouraged to visit Ariel where it holds close to a base pricing of 355. Aluminum sees little movement and holds at 1.1 UEC. Legal Vice sees another swing in movement as Distilled Spirits held close to 466 on Selen and 471 on Daymar, continuously above a base of 420. Stim surged to 3.10 around Crusader, with Microtech prices reaching 291, up from a base of 280. Smugglers breathed a sigh of relief as 391 reconnected the hidden terminal at Crew L5, making Slam viable once again. Slam vans are now flocking to the station easing the burden on other drugs. Gases see a surge in movement across the board. Astatine averaged 762 around Arcorp, with Hurston supplies reaching a record-shattering 790 for the area. Yale deposits averaged 773, all far above its base price of 7 UEC. Fluorine rose to 247 on Lyria, with Crusader deposits holding firm at 235. However, Sell prices at Deacons and Hicks have both hit lows of 280. Traders are encouraged to bring fluorine to major ports for the time being if they wish to sell for the default pricing of 295. Chlorine rose to 140 around Arcorp with other deposits keeping to the baseline of 130. Hydrogen peaked at 0.97 up from 0.90 around Crusader and even iodine sees a small price hike around Arcorp, reaching 0.37 from a base of 0.35. Mineral saw Laranite experience a brief slump leading up to Fleet Week. The Marvel Mineral actually saw base pricing of 24.10 at Bezdek for several days, despite confirmed movement. However, prices peaked at 27.79 once Fleet Week launched, with all locations experiencing the usual supply shortages. Diamond continues to experience price inflation of about 6.25 around Arcorp, with deposits on Magda holding lower at about 5.90. Deposits at Tram and Myers on Selen still hold firm at a base of 585. Barrel saw a surprising increase in movement, with prices on Daymar reaching 419, up from a base of 406. Corundum sees little movement and holds at 2.3. The scrap trade continues its popularity, with sources at Grim Hex and Crew L1 holding near 1.49 UEC. Still above a base of 135, these two locations usually see prices closer to 155. 
This small decrease can most likely be attributed to traders diversifying their sources of scrap from other R&Rs. Medical supplies continue to experience heavy movement around Microtech, with prices reaching in the 17.30 range. Crusader prices follow the same trend, far above a base pricing of 15.75. Processed food sees little movement and holds at 1.21. Agricultural supplies follow suit at a base price of 1 UEC, with a notable discounted price of 0.96 on Magda. And now, for next week's forecast. Prices will continue to surge across the board as the free fly event continues. Try to avoid trading between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. UTC, as this is the window when CIG updates the expo show floor and may cause loss of cargo or progress. Expect long queues and server instability after each update. Prices will surge the highest from May 30th to June 2nd when the Caterpillar is up for free flight. And now, for this week's trading tip. Did you know that outposts have ship-based services? You can rearm, repair, and refuel at any outpost with a landing pad. Simply access your MobiGlass for services like you would at any station. This can help avoid fuel stops for repeated runs, or to even repair after a run-in with the local flavor. That's it for this week's State of Trade. Until next time, keep on trucking.